Let's uh, go back here. Why not have a gift? I have gifts. Prioritize. When someone has given you a gift, I will keep it for you here until you wish to unwrap it. I shan't peek, I promise. Lovely. How did I get seven? Oh, yeah, I uh. I kept it instead of giving it to the treasury, didn't I? That's how I, that's how I put so much money. Go to the throne room, huh? What can I use this for? Is this like how I can... I can... Transfer stuff? Okay. Personal. Right. If you will make your way to the throne room, the day's court sessions yeah, can begin. Two. I might really have to like hold this all the way down. Well, we're gonna be here a while then, because I wanted to. Uh... Oh, maybe not. I guess. You don't need me Want to, to donate. You of the growing necessity to fill the treasury. Your Majesty. You know what, I, w I was going to donate 500, but now I'm just going to go down to 600,000 of my own. Okay, this goes on forever, Jesus. Right. Jesus, no. I visited Brightwall once. Didn't care for it. For all its claims to knowledge, my abiding memory is one of chicken right. droppings and Come poor on. manners. Continue. Yes. Right. Wait, did that say it didn't do it? All right, whatever. Greetings, sir. Wasted that time then. So this is going to to be probably the last session I ever do of Fable Three. All stand for the king. What a pleasure it is to see you again. I could not be. Today you decide on the status of the Brightwall Academy, Your Majesty. Samuel will speak for the town and its scholars. Reva will dispute his cause. You may speak. <coughs> your Majesty, it was your mother who opened the doors to Albion's greatest seat of learning. Under her rule, knowledge and culture flourished, and so did the people of Brightwall. I ask only that you return to the wisdom of those days. Your brother closed the academy down, but it is in your hands to restore it. There is no greater proponent of the arts than myself, and I celebrate knowledge in all its forms. But our people are frightened and confused. The last thing they need is knowledge. Allow them the benefit of ignorance. Let only those who are truly prepared make use of the academy. The elite of our society will pay handsomely to indulge in erudition. Uh, but, but, but only the rich will be able to afford to learn. Precisely. Why give wisdom away when one can charge for it? What do you wish to do, Your Majesty? I mean, it's the promise now, isn't it? So I will keep my promises. I should have done so, like, I keep all my promises. All Anything else I should have just... Wall evil deed of it. And Albion will once again have a free center of learning. Oh, thank you, your majesty. This is the start of a new day for us all. Very well. I will make the arrangements at once. Right, rule on the pot. 
Consider the proposal to drain the Bower Lake and meet with a concerned and wealthy citizen. Intellect in the newly reopened Brightwall Academy. Suckle the knowledge from the land's greatest minds and avail yourself of the best library ever assembled. Everyone, from the most impoverished genius to the wealthiest idiot, is welcome. Brightwall Academy. Whatever you earn, it's the place to learn. The court summons Page and Reba. The matter before you today is the future of Bower Lake. Reba will offer his proposal. Page will stand against him. You may speak. Your Majesty, a recent survey of Bower Lake has found that the waterbed is rich in valuable metal. Now, as amusing as it would be to make workers hold their breath as they mine these resources, I fear it would be impractical. Instead, we have no choice but to dam the river and drain the lake of all water. Once that is done, we will have a ready-made quarry ripe for the plucking. It will be a pity to disfigure the landscape so close to my former home. But it is a sensible course of action in light of our current needs. Bower Lake is the last piece of natural beauty remaining in Bowerstone. It belongs to our history and should be protected. Don't take it away from us. You'll be taking away part of this city's soul with it. Oh, really? Now that we've finally freed the people of this city, are we going to destroy the one place they can find peace? The decision is yours to make, Your Majesty. I mean, I know I just said that I should re uh, do the evil deeds when it comes to these, but I, I like that one. Point out that the lake is by no means a refuge or a paradise. So I've got to refuse it. Page is right. We must protect our natural resources. Bower Lake is to be left untouched. The king has ruled. Bower Lake's natural beauty is hereby protected by order of the crown. Thank you. Let's show the world Albion is worth defending. Is a pretty view worth more than a treasury full of gold? I bow to your greater wisdom. Meet with the concerned and wealthy citizen. Well, we're going to kill him and grab all his money then. We're, we're going to somehow grab all of his money. The resplendent Bower Lake. I am pleased to declare the official protection of this natural wonder. May its water drown anyone who doesn't appreciate its beauty. I trust the court was not too dull today. In any case, I'm confident your final task will be most enjoyable. A loyal and wealthy member of our community has offered to make a sizable donation to our treasury. Her only request is that you go to Millfields to make the collection in person. A perfect chance to stretch your legs, your majesty. All right, but I want you to, uh, Oh yeah, it did go through. Right. A wealthy donation to wherever then, yeah? To Millfields. Wait, where is Millfields again? All the way over here. Let me fast travel there. So fast travel the places from here on out. Instead of going there and you know walking and whatnot. All right, a sizable donation, which is going to be great if it's anywhere near one mil. 
at this point. I mean, anything more than that is uh, very much worth it. These ones just are so annoying to fight. There we go, Jesus. Right, still on the trail. Dog found something, but as of right now. I've got a Sizzleton to meet. A very wealthy Sizzleton. Oh, no, come on. I'm in an attack first. Oh god, really? Got nothing left. No healing, yeah. Oh, stop fucking doing that. I would have so many health potions if there wasn't like a limit on how many you could buy. Come on, I'm fucking dying because I'm fucking trapped on the post. Jesus, man. Well, well, I did. Right. Let's continue on to find. Look, I know where the thief is. He fled into the woods. Madam, I understand you want to recover what you've lost, but those woods are simply too dangerous. It would be suicide to enter them without combat experience, or training, or skill. I don't want to enter them. I want you to. Right. I was talking about me. Oh, just forget it. Ah, oh, your majesty. 
It's such an honor to have you here. If only fate hadn't conspired to make me look like a fool. I so wanted to make a contribution to the noble cause. What's the use of a priceless heirloom if we're all going to perish in who knows what frightful way? I had taken the statuette out of the family vault, ready for your visit, only for a common thief to take it in broad daylight. Can you believe it, your majesty? The thief ran into the woods, and naturally the soldiers are too scared to follow. Why must the uneducated be so superstitious? But you know no such fear, do you? Find the villain, your majesty. He has stolen more than a statue. He takes with him the future of our kingdom. All right. Beware the woods, your majesty. The soldiers may be superstitious, but there's no denying dangerous beasts lurk within. Good luck. I know you will succeed. Find the thief. All right. I'm at your command. At your command. Silver pipes. Alright, we're gonna get attacked. I can just feel it. Or maybe, or maybe just uh, Valverines are gonna be the reason. Looking for the statue, Your Majesty. Follow the white Valverine. What? We have to follow the Balvarine? Jesus. Alright, no. Right, you monster. Prepare to meet your... Oh, oh I'm so sorry. For a moment there, I thought you were a Belverine. Damn things are always trying to get through our defenses. We burn silver nitrate in those lamps to keep them out. Kills them pretty quick if they hang around for too long. If a lamp goes out, well, I don't like to think what might happen then. One went out just recently, but we got it lit again fast. The man responsible, this bloke Connor, got punished. Severely. Before he disappears into the forest, he tells us there's going to be a reckoning. He's probably in 25 different stomachs right now. That's my reckoning. You can come on out, everyone. It's safe. Find the thief. All right. Greetings, my lord. Up there. How are you today, sir? <laughs> Wait, why not there? That's where the bothering was. Your Majesty, I've been expecting you. Been through the village, have you? Charming hamlet. It's full of warm, wonderful people who'll give you the shirt off their back and condemn you to death for one simple mistake. Anyone can fall asleep on watch. You exile him into this forest and call it justice. But enough about that. You're here for that statue. It's quite a remarkable thing. It did everything the legend said it would. And now I don't need it anymore. <laughs> it's funny how things change. 
So if you want to take it back to that prig in Millfields, it's yours. Nearly free of charge. All I ask is a small favor. Destroy those silver nitrate lanterns. Then the village will get a taste of justice. The choice is yours. And it's a simple one. How simple? If you decline, my brothers will kill you. No, I'll, I'll defend the village. Ah, oh, well. I suppose it was too much to hope for. Still, your choice won't save the village. Now that I'm the leader of the pack, we've got some brains to go with our brawn. We'll lose a few of the weaker members, but we'll deal with those lanterns on our own. In the meantime, killing you will be a good way to, shall we say, get the blood flowing. No, 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 Jesus, I'm not even trying to attack you. I'm trying to attack this one. Head on back to the village, and I guess. Yes, that's where we're going. She in the village now. Huh? Oh, just hit the bloody bell ring. Jesus Christ. I see a gnome above the things though.
Oh, nice. Thank you, thank you. You've saved us from certain destruction. We're in your debt. You'll always be welcome here, should you wish to return. Connor had this on him. It looks like a Belverine. It's yours if you want it. You're magnificent and glorious and Here's your leader. I'm happy to follow. All right, let's, uh... He was a twit, just like you. There you go. 10 out of, uh, 10 out of whatever. Where was, uh, return to Brian. Who's Brian again? Isn't that the person in the village? Whatever. In Millfield. Dig spot lot. Better be something important. Alright, that's I guess kind of important. No, nope, no more. Oh, there's a chest. Grab that, though. I cook that. I'll just accept that. Yeah, that's where we had the note. Was it here? You're back. It was. Did you find the thief? Did you recover the statue? You found it? Oh, I can barely contain my tears. Oh, excuse me, Your Majesty. I, I can't let you see me this way. Uh, and please, make make good use of it. Nobles, always so melodramatic. A magnanimous gesture indeed. Your subjects are lucky to be ruled by one so giving. Indeed. Except. Not only did you save an entire village from bothering, your generosity has brought the people of Albion one step closer to safety. One hundred and twenty one days left until the attack. God damn. With the fatidic attack not far away now, it is rather discouraging to see the treasury doing so poorly. We must steel ourselves for some hard choices if we wish to survive. As for today's first order of business, you may have heard about the dire situation the kingdom's economy finds itself in. Logan's policies always kept our cities on the edge of bankruptcy, and the panic caused by the fast-approaching darkness has only exacerbated the situation. I'm afraid the only way to stop this slide into ruin is to bail out Bowerstone's financial institutions. The people are looking at you to save them from economic disaster, but remember that doing so may condemn them to a much darker and bloodier fate. What shall we do, your majesty? I guess... Bad out. Oh. I mean, 
we're not getting anything out if the economy collapses, alright? So You yeah. are such a giving, magnanimous person. Very well, I will make the arrangements. Life will be easier for your subjects for a while, but the treasury will not easily recover. I only hope we haven't thrown away our chances of survival. Of course, you could well, we always got, we will get zero out of it anyway. gold supplies by donating from your personal funds. Shall we proceed Which with I today's have. agenda? Yeah, and I have done that. Consider a proposal to build a military outpost for on the future of the Mistpeak. Caleb, exactly. the representative for the Auroran people, has requested an audience with you. The court awaits in the throne room. Alright, go to the throne room. I can do that. Your Majesty, at your service, my king. At your command. Hello, sir. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the king. The king. Today you must decide how much protection to grant Aurora. Kaylin will offer her proposal. Reva will stand against her. You may speak. Your Majesty, as you know, the threat from the deserts that surrounds my city has not diminished. The darkness could fall upon us once more at any moment. Aurora is part of your kingdom now, and I ask that you grant us protection. Build a desert outpost that can warn my people should the crawler attack. It shall allow us to leave the city in time and ensure the survival of your loyal subjects. <laughs> a desert outpost? I've never heard such. I mean, if we're gonna get nothing what out of projecting the proposal. What do we do next? Erect taverns under the sea? Plant crops on mountain peaks? I mean, we're already this far, it and this is a foolhardy suggestion. Why should our valiant soldiers suffer sunstroke and chapped lips in a distant land when they could be protecting the people of this very city? Is it really worth risking the lives of all the people outside these walls? For a mere alarm system? Of course not. Let us leave the funds and the soldiers where they belong. Right here. The darkness poses a threat to us all. But Aurora has already suffered more than its fair share. The final decision rests with you, your majesty. We'll do the good deed, because we're already this fucking far in. And we're getting literally nothing out of... If we would have got something out of rejecting it... Then I would have went with it, but we're getting nothing, so... Will not survive. Aurora is under our protection. It is our duty to build this outpost. The King's decision is final. A military outpost shall be erected in the deserts that surround Aurora. We shall not forget this gesture. Aurora thanks you. Ah, <laughs> you are a whimsical monarch. And that is why you are so beloved. Very well, it shall be done. Alright, rule on the future of Mist Peak. Reaver Industries is proud to present an exotic tale of romance, adventure, and sand. The Desert Outpost. Bring forth Sabine. Of the Mistpeak Dwellers. Today, you decide on the fate of Mistpeak, home of the Dwellers, Your Majesty. Sabine will speak for his people and their land. Reva will dispute his cause. You may speak. I come here seeking nothing but what was promised me and my people. You pledged to restore our home mountains and our right to dwell in them. We have fulfilled our end of the bargain. We have paid with our lives to sit you on that throne. Now you must fulfill your end 
Undo the damage your brother did to our land, and our agreement shall be satisfied. Your Majesty, this sounds both an unnecessary expense and an impudent demand. What value is there in a few trees languishing amongst snow and rock? This is not the time to indulge some idyllic fantasy. Those forests are a resource, and we are in dire need of resources. I propose we expand on your brother's initiative and take what nature offers so readily. Say the word, and I will transform the worthless wasteland of Mistbank into assets we can use to defend Albion. These hands are not yet so old or weak that I can't wring that pretty little neck of yours, Reaver. Huh? The refined retort of a true mountain goat. You made a promise to Sabine, but it's up to you whether you decide to honor it. We will. I will keep my promise to the dwellers. The Miss Peak Mountains will be restored. Miss Peak shall become a protected region, and the dwellers shall be granted authority over its forests and resources. You are true to your word and your honor. The dwellers will stand by you till the end. of Mist Peak are our greatest national treasure, and now, thanks to Riva Industries, they have returned to their past splendor. Dwellers, birds, and bunnies are free to roam, laugh, and kill each other as nature intended. Who needs all that lumber anyway? Happy anniversary, your majesty. One year as king of Albion. Doesn't time just fly? To celebrate this momentous day, I have prepared some fantastic events. First, you will stand still for several hours while a local artist paints your portrait. Then, you will choose the 47 varieties of flowers you wish to be cast at your feet as you parade through the city. Oh, and you will need to sign thousands of autographs, of course. Let's see, you will also be fitted... Oh, I guess it's on the road to rule then, huh? Yep, road to rule. I'm not even going to have any seals to do anything with them anyway. Oh, we have 209 actually. The day has come, King. It is time for you to face the darkness. But you will do so in your true form. Over the past year, you have made decisions that reveal your nature and which have affected the lives of all your subjects. You have tried to be a just and popular ruler, but your good intentions have come at a great cost. Most of your people will not survive this attack. But you are more than a king. You are a hero. You are Albion's champion. Its protector. This coming battle is the reason you had to take Logan's place. Only you can defeat the creature that dwells in the shadows. If you do not, your kingdom will be gone. And you will die with it. Now go. Do what you were born to do. Alright. Yeah, we don't know or have not got enough for all of that. So let's see what's down here. Because we still got like damage to uh a few damage things here, don't we? With any gun and weapons, that's gonna cost what hundred and hundred and sixty if I buy all of those. All of them. So that's all. This is just, yeah, that's worth the stuff. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, grab the damage for sword and gun.
Jesus. It's so bright. Alright, now let's, uh, let's get out of the road to rule. So these are all the, uh, all the people we've allied with, huh? Awesome. Leave road to rule, yep. Hundred and twelve attacks made by the dog. It's here. The darkness has reached Powerstone. The attack has barely begun, but already we have suffered terrible casualties. We simply weren't ready. If we don't act quickly, there may not be a kingdom left to defend by dawn. We have to get out on the streets, now! Today we fight for Albion! For, for Albion! Albion. Damn right. With two crank shots like us, we might stand a chance. Yeah, no one will stop him here, is it? I mean, yeah, the, the shadows are one hit. God sees dudes. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to go straight into battle, was it either? Desperation. 
two of us. Nicely done then. Alright. No, we didn't hit the barrel. Try and control this thing. I didn't mean to affect it anyway. Let me use a bloody thing. Why did you do this to me? Don't let me use it. I have much love for health after this dude. Kill 
Oh, there we go. I'm sorry. You took away the darkness. It's been inside me all this time. But it's light now. I can see the sky and its light. <clears throat> I don't think I can fight anymore. It's all over, Walter. We won. We beat it together. Do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child? There was a great queen once, the mightiest hero of them all. Remember what you would say. Teach me to be a hero. You've done me proud, boy. You've always done me proud. <sighs> oh, Walter. For Albion. I think old Walter would have liked it out here. He was always a fan of looking tall and stony. I can imagine what he'd say if he was here now. Shut up, Ben. <laughs> exactly. It's time I return to my own castle. If ever you need to save the world from another abomination, you know where to find me. My people shall never forget what you have done for them. We are proud to be part of Albion. I shall return to Aurora in the knowledge that we may at last enjoy peace. Farewell. Your Majesty. Walter was right about you. You're a hero in every sense of the word. The hero Albion needed. What will you do now? I will continue to serve you the best way I can. I belong down in the city. The people there will always need help. Goodbye, my king. You have done what I thought impossible. You are the ruler I could never be. You don't need me anymore. And Albion will heal easier without me. Well, King, old chum, ruler supreme, pal, you did it. You saved the kingdom. And it's my turn to say goodbye. I'm not cut out to be a general. Now, I think I'd like to start traveling again. Or maybe see if Paige needs any help down in industrial. But before I go, let's send off our friend in style, shall we? This one's for you, Walter. This is the world as it could have been, devoid of color, devoid of life. It is thanks to you that it isn't so, and you did it without becoming a tyrant. The people love you, and you have banished the shadow of your brother's reign. You kept your promise to Sabine and his people, when it would have been easier to turn your back on them. A noble gesture. You swore an oath to Paige to better the lives of your people, and you did so even in the face of great danger. You did for the Aurorans what your brother would not. He broke his promise, but you proved to be the better leader. Without the strength to make those choices, 
we would not be standing here now. Perhaps we shall meet again one day, King. Aren't you going to tell me my future? The future will reveal itself when it is ready to do so. Lionhead still as well, that was actually it. That was the end of Fable 3. We have successfully completed all three Fable games. And I did 2 and 3 back to back as well. Um, I'm going to be honest. I really enjoyed Fable 3. I thought this, this was absolutely amazing. I'm being honest. I still think Fable Anniversary will forever be my all-time favourite Fable game. And it still is, after playing 2 and 3. But, you know, I've heard a lot of people talk down on this game. But I thought it was amazing, in my opinion. Like, ever since uh, the first uh, session we've done on it, I thought it was amazing. But, again... That's always the intro. You don't, you don't, you never know how uh, how the game's gonna fully turn out, especially with the ending and everything. The only fault I did, uh, did kind of have with this is I would have loved to uh, to have something more done with Logan. Like ever since I kept him alive, they didn't really do anything with him. I guess all we done was had a little bit of backup and then that little scene at the end that's it so it wouldn't have really mattered whether I kept them alive or not and there wasn't even like a potential boss fight with Logan we just killed a few soldiers or some of his guards uh, and then we were teleported to the castle which we didn't even get the fight in we were just you know had the cutscene play out with the bolt or anything. I would have liked a little bit of a boss fight with Logan though, I'm gonna be honest, but uh, I guess it, uh, it is what it is. And the other fault I saw there is some of the cutscene dialogue just felt rushed. Like a character would uh, would stop speaking and then the second it, uh, character stops speaking, uh, another character would just straight uh, do it again, so it all kind of felt rushed. Uh, and you can see it through some of the cutscenes. Some of the cutscenes, it's fine. You know, there is that pause in between different people speaking. But at some points, it is just you've said your thing, and then it's instantly the next person. And that, yeah, it kind of stood out and uh, stood out and whatnot. Um, another great thing about this is the fact that um, you still have some of the uh what they call i guess enemies uh, from the previous games as well i i like that like the balverines the hobs uh the bandits so i guess they're called like what mercenaries in this i think kind of the same thing um yeah this was not as bad as uh as people think it was or thought it was I know a lot of people love this game, and a few people hate it. I'm one of the people that love it. I, I did really uh, enjoy this. Um, and I know I could always revisit this and do like an evil playthrough, or even just go through as the... I guess what we would be the princess about to be the queen. Kind of like how Fable 2, uh, you can either choose to be a male or female. So, I can always revisit... 2 and 3 and do the different characters even though there's again probably not much of a difference uh, I guess the only difference would be if you decide to be uh, evil and I believe in every one of my fable like all three games I got the good story instead of the evil one like the most evil deeds I ever did in a fable game was probably anniversary even then, I'm pretty sure I got the good 
uh, the good thing. Even though I think it all depended on your last action in anniversary, whether you wanted to, uh, I think it was either kill your sister or wear or have the sword. No, 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 no. The ending was you can either throw the sword away, never to be seen again. A uh, jack of blade sword it was, or you can pick up the sword and kill Teresa with it. But no, that didn't happen. Oh, uh, we threw it away. It's just a sword. Um, but maybe I will revisit. Uh, I'm thinking of as of right now, just letting it uh, just rest and like we've completed the we've completed the series. However. Once we get closer to the upcoming Fable, uh, the Fable 4, I guess, it, it, they really need to just give it another name. Well, not another name, but like have it like Fable, call it like Fable 4, or like Fable with a, another word on the end of it. Like Halo Infinite. It's got infinite, it's not Halo 6, it's Halo Infinite. No. Instead of just calling it Fable, because it gets confusing. But. Yeah, so we'll, I'll probably revisit all th three of the games again and go around and finishing side quests that I didn't do. I was kind of surprised that it just jumped me straight to the ending. I wasn't actually ready for that. I wanted to um, go and do some more side quests. And I'm pretty sure I can after the uh, after the credits, but again, I just want to kind of let rest uh, for now. So that is gonna be it for fable for a while and again until I until the new fable comes out then I might revisit do some side quests uh, pretty I mean I pretty practically finished fable anniversary uh, there's only a few side quests left it was like get the sword out of the stone uh, and just donations and stuff but fable 2 uh, we still have a lot of, we I, yeah we barely did any side quests for fable 2 um, so we can always revisit that, although it's going to be a pain if we do another story with all the crashing and everything. It did pick up after we beat the Crucible though, so I'm glad for that. So we can probably finish some quests or we can do a brand new story. It, uh, it all depends. It all depends what I feel like doing. But we'll come to that at a, uh, at a, later, at a later point. Um, it's weird because I played Fable Anniversary back in May. It's now, I think it was like around this time. I'm, I'm like playing this on the 21st of October 2020. So roughly whatever that is back in May, how many months that is. Um, yeah, I randomly decided to, uh, to play Fable 2 and 3 because they're on Game Pass and I did buy a get, uh, get a month of Game Pass. I mean, I said this in my, when I was uh, when I done Fable Fable 2 that I only got it because Dishonored 2 was going to leave Game Pass and I really needed to uh, play Dishonored 2 as as you know I wanted to uh, go through the Dishonored games. I have Dishonored's Definitive Edition and. I think it's called Death of the Outsider, something like that. So I wanted to go through that, but then it wasn't, or it got removed from the removed section. And yeah, Dishonored 2 is going to stay on Game Pass. So I was like, you know what? Alright, I'll play some other games. So I chose uh, the three Yakuza games, which I'm still heavily addicted to. Um, and so yeah, that took like. About half, it took like 15, 16 days for me to complete all of the the, the, uh, the Yakuza games. And I was like, what do I want to play next for my, my final week-ish, or just, it was like 10 or so days. So I chose, you know what, let's just get Fable done and out of the way. And that's what we did. Uh, and I've still got like, just under a week left of... Uh, of Game Pass, so I'm gonna need to figure out what I want to play with this. I'm probably gonna be starting Doom Eternal. 
just because I haven't played Doom Eternal yet and uh, it is a game that I do want to play at some point so Doom Eternal will most likely be next but that's not gonna take us up to the rest of the thing so I still gotta figure out what other games I want to uh, want to get done I could do uh, Darksiders I don't know, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to see. I might even, uh, do something random, like Alan Wake or something. Which reminds me, I've still got to do a few things for Dead Island. I know that I've still got a DLC to cover for Dead Island, so I can always do that. And then Tell Me Why is also on Game Pass. There's another story-driven game like The Walking Dead and... You know, like the Telltale games and Life is Strange and whatnot. And which is made by the creators of Life is Strange, so I do want to get around to doing that at some point. So that will probably be another thing that we do before, uh. Before the thing ends. So we still got. So that's what? That's three things Doom Eternal. Tell me why. And uh, the I think it's the Rider White DLC is what it's called. So we probably got room for maybe another game. So we'll have to figure it out whether if it's going to be like Alan Wake or something. Alan Wake is one that I do want to get through and done, but again, I. I don't, I don't need to play Alan Wake or through Game Pass because I know my brother has a copy, like a physical copy of uh, Alan Wake, so I could always just put the disc in my Xbox and play it then instead of having to play it through Game Pass. I mean, he he has for uh, he has discs for Fable Two and Three, and I did play it through Game Pass, so I guess it's whatever. Really. But I have to go through and see. I still are. Oh, Saying that, right, this is what's funny, I uh, I started State of Decay 2 back in January, I played the first hour of it the day after I finished State of Decay, the first one, I think it's like year one survival edition or whatever, and I loved the first State of Decay, I put hours into that. And then the next day after completing it, it was like this, like mid January 2020. I uh, I spent an hour of State of Decay 2. I think I got bored. Mainly, I think I think the main reason I got bored was because I was just burnt out with State of Decay. At that point, and then I played like the first hour, quit it, and then since then I've never came back to it. So I still got State of Decay 2 to get on and do. And again, my brother owns a copy of State of Decay 2 as well, so I can always ask him to uh to do that. And I do want to get State of Decay 2 done before State of Decay 3 comes out. In which it will, so there's always that. But the main sort of series I want to get done before the end of the year is the Resident Evil uh, Resident Evil series, which we've only covered Resident Evil Zero. So we've still got uh, the HG remaster of the first one, two remake, three remake, Code Veronica X, four, uh, five, and it's DLC. Um, Revelations and Revelations 2, Resident Evil 6, and Resident Evil 7. Yeah, that's a lot of, uh, we got a lot there to get on and do, but I believe we can do it. So, I mean, I didn't, uh, no, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. So that's like sort of the main goal for finishing this year. 
that I can get stuff up and scheduled for next year, in which we have. We've got up until mid-April of videos scheduled on the YouTube for 2021 currently. Um, but again, with that being said, I still have like two series to finish and schedule. One series being Resident Evil, and another being the the Yakuza series, which of which I still need a. Okay, so I can get Resident Evil done out of the way at any time. Like I can start it like now if I wanted to. But with uh, the Yakuza series, I'm gonna need a PlayStation in order to finish the games because on Xbox uh, they've only got up to. Kiwami 2, they only have Yakuza 0, Kiwami, and Kiwami 2. Uh, I don't know if they've got plans to bring the other uh, four games, being 3, 4, 5, 6, over, but at the same time, I kind of need a PlayStation at this point. Because um, there are a few PlayStation games that I do want to cover as well. Some, some names are being like God of War, Ghosts of Tsushima, uh, The Last of Us and whatnot. If only my PlayStation didn't have to break. But, you know, it is what it is. Things break all the time. And I couldn't be bothered to get a, to get a new one, so I just stuck with the Xbox. And then, now, 20, about a month, well, not even a month, it's like just over two weeks the new consoles come out, so... Hopefully I can get my hands on a PlayStation. Uh, I'm not worried about Xbox yet, especially considering Infinite has been delayed. But again, Infinite is going to be on the Xbox One anyway. So I, I don't really have a reason to get a Series S or X, I'll probably get an S, until probably either when Fable comes out, or like Avowed or something. There are a few games that do look interesting that are exclusive to Xbox, but again, they don't come out for until like next next year and whatnot, which will most likely be the later half of next year. So that's whatever. But again, I still got a bunch of the PlayStation stuff to crack on and do. I believe we're at the uh, end of the credits now. Hey, yeah, you have defeated a for a formidable enemy, but the cost beyond measure. The tiny handful of survivors and their descendants will forever remember you as the ruler who let the kingdom perish. What? We saved the kingdom. What are you talking about? Factory volunteers, huh? Convict on the run. I guess these are all like side stuff we can we can go ahead and do, but you know, let me whistle for the dog. Let me pet him. Pet him. Who's my best? <laughs> and fetch. Alright, well. I guess that's whatever. Gnomes are evil, return to Brian. So, yeah, that is Fable 2. You have accomplished something quite extraordinary. I do not think even your mother could have equaled it. The kingdom teetered on the brink of annihilation, and yet we live, all thanks to you. As for me, I'm just an old servant, and that is what I will always be. You know where to find me should you ever require my assistance, sir. All right, well, we have a present here, so let's see what the present is. Nothing, all right. And all those were the promises that I kept. And then uh, all of this is... 
Yeah, we still have no idea what the hell that is all about and whatnot, but for all the uh, areas that need side questing and whatnot, but you know, that's whatever. For now though, where's the options? Game management. For now, that is it for Fable 3. I will see you guys whenever, or whatever I decide to do next, really. So with that being said, take it easy.